What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Fringe Fitness Reviews, where I expose you to the next big thing in fitness, some products that haven't quite hit the mainstream. Today, we're gonna to be looking at something called the Alpha Plate. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different ways you can use this piece of equipment. We'll talk about the pros, we'll talk about the cons, we'll talk about the price point, and of course, I'll let you guys know how you can get a hold of these um, if this is something that you're interested in for your home gym. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's get into this fringe fitness review and let's talk about the Alpha Plate. First thing you want to do is take a look at the basic specs of this product, the Alpha Plate. So let's take a look at this. You can see these are going to come in a variety of weights. I have a 10, a 25, and a 45 pounder here. Um, they're going to be a replacement for your traditional weight plates or your bumper plates. So it's going to fit on a standard barbell. Um, they're super durable, made to be dropped. I've never had an issue with any of these breaking down. And then the obvious thing here is going to be these two red handles. So they've attached a couple of handles to the plate and they've also cut a U on each side. The shape's a little bit different and you'll see when you compare them to traditional bumper plates, they're a little bit wider. If this was a complete circle, it would be bigger than a standard plate, um, which is something that we'll want to keep in mind a little bit later. So you can see here, guys, really it's just a plate that now has this added uh, benefit of being able to hold onto these handles. Let's take a look at some of the things that we can use this alpha plate for so you can decide if it's the right piece of equipment for you. The first function of the alpha plate that I want to talk about is the most obvious function, and that is using the alpha plate as an alternative to a traditional weightlifting plate. So you can see here I've got my 45s on this bar, and uh, I'm going to just do a couple squats and just let you guys know how this feels as opposed to lifting with a traditional weightlifting plate and you can feel a little bit of weight shift it's not going to wobble a whole lot they're symmetrical so they should pretty much stay where they are um, but they do feel a little bit heavier than a traditional plate that being said it is an option and the handles make them really easy to get on and off of the bar obviously um, which isn't really an issue for me anyway so uh, they feel good it does work as an alternative you'll see here the big issue is going to be these handles sticking out are going to make it tough to load another weight that being said if you have a full set of alpha plates then you're going to be able to load more of them because of the shape so right there you can see they're going to fit flush i can throw the 25 on top and i can work some progressive overload and get heavier um, in my lifts now this is the obvious function of the alpha plate they work as a standard weight plate you can use them for traditional weightlifting, progressive overload. That being said, this is probably the function that I use the least with the Alpha Plate. Um, if you have access to regular traditional weightlifting plates, I think they're going to be a little bit superior to these just because of the symmetry and the consistency that comes with the full circle traditional weightlifting plate. So this isn't my favorite way to use these. That being said, if you don't have any weightlifting plates and you're not interested in buying a whole bunch, but you want to add a ton of versatility, these could be a good option and you could always load them on the bar for a little bit of extra uh, weight in your traditional weightlifting movements. All right, guys, let's get into some uses um, that I really actually do enjoy with the Alpha Plate. In terms of function, I think this Alpha Plate really shines as a standalone product so basic resistance training movements um, are going to work really well with this and the shape is going to allow you to do a lot of different stuff especially for youth athletes and beginners i think these are really accessible um, they're fun to use and it's going to open the door to a bunch of different movements so let's take a look at just a couple really simple resistance training patterns that work really well with this a basic hinge or an rdl you can see that if i was holding a traditional plate and it was pushed into my legs, I wouldn't have this type of room. My arms would be too far out. But here with this alpha plate, I can do good hinges and I can keep that weight really close to my body, which is gonna make it feel better and just make it a little bit safer. And that's just because of the shape and these great parallel handles. Now, you can also do explosive stuff. I can take that hinge into a clean and you can see this, this type of clean would be impossible with a traditional weightlifting plate. Uh, it would hit me in the neck but this front rack position is great too. This is another way to get people in a really comfortable front rack. We can do front squats. We can do presses with this alpha plate. And you can see, gosh, I've never been able to press overhead in this garage because the ceiling's so low. But with this guy, 
um, I can do that, and I bet I can do it with the 45 too. Um, it's also great for all the rotational stuff that we do at Landmine University. So you could do a coiled swing with this and keep it outside your body. These feel great. You could do a rotational clean and work on getting it to the other side. And a lot of this stuff is the stuff that I got into when I first started using this alpha plate because it feels good to have the parallel grip and I've got all this space to really get into a coiled position and there's really limitless ways you can hold this um, plate in terms of your catches. So I really like this for traditional weightlifting training and one use that I've used these for with a lot of success is with beginners or young athletes doing some type of plate circuit. If you've ever done a plate circuit, just a great way to do a lot of, uh, lots of volume in a short amount of time circuit training. And you could do 10 squats, 10 cleans, 10 overhead presses, rotational stuff. You can layer that all uh, back to back and get a really great workout in not a lot of time with just one piece of equipment. So to me, this is where this really shines is as a standalone and as an alternative to barbell uh, weights for some traditional weightlifting movements. You'll be limited by the weight. This isn't something that the world's strongest man is necessarily going to want to train with. But if you work with athletes or beginners, it's great for a warm-up and it's a great way to get a ton of volume without having to switch out different pieces of equipment. So as a standalone product, the, uh, the deadlifts, the cleans, the presses, everything rotational, that's where I think you're going to use this the most, and that's what I really like about the Alpha Plate. All right, guys, and then the last function I want to talk about with this Alpha Plate, this is where I use it the most, um, is just for trunk training. It's an awesome alternative to med balls, uh, different types of equipment. You can use this or just traditional plates, which I used to use all the time. This is a really convenient and accessible way to add a little bit of load to your trunk training. So I'll show you just a couple of my favorites. Um, and these are just classic traditional movements, nothing too crazy. And then I'll show you one Landmine University move that we like to do with it too. So uh, right away you can see, man, I got this right on my lap. I can hit some really great Russian twists. And when I do these, I like to put both corners on the floor. That's gonna maintain that shoulder rotation. And the handles are gonna feel really good doing those Russian twists. Also, sit-ups. Um, like an overhead sit-up with this weight, it's going to help you keep your tension, maintain balance, stay connected. So those are really good. Um, we can think about rotating this like sort of a screwdriver bicycle. This is a Landmine University concept where we're steering it like a steering wheel. Um, and all those movements are great for trunk training. So if you take that bad boy and you get on the floor, you can really be creative and you can add a ton of variety with some good resistance for your trunk training. It just feels really good because of that cut out you, you can keep it close to your body. And there's a lot of stuff you can do there. So that trunk core training, that's where I tend to use the alpha plate the most. All right guys, that's it for our fringe fitness review on the alpha plate. And I really gotta say, I think this is a great piece of equipment for anyone who's involved in group training. Um, if you get multiples of these, there's a lot of, like I said, the trunk stuff, the basic resistance training stuff. They're fun to use. People really like them. Um, and again, not my favorite on the bar, but that's always an option too. In terms of price point, I'm pretty sure right now they're selling a 15 pounder for 45 bucks. You can get a 25 pounder for 55. The 45 pound version is going to cost you somewhere around $85 and you can get a full set for 170. The prices are pretty on par with traditional bumper plates. So it's not like they're way marked up. I've got no complaint in terms of price. In terms of getting your hands on these, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you guys can follow that link. I don't have any discounts for you, but if you're interested in this product, great people running that company, definitely recommend you checking them out. All right guys, that's it for this episode of Fringe Fitness Reviews. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Landmine University.